you don't have to be a coder to use the code node in N810. First, let's look at how it works. Then I will show you how to get the code for the code node without writing a single line of code. So first, if I add a code node here, you see all these fields, mode, language, and the JavaScript. So there are two modes which this runs on. So run once for all items and run one once for each item. The code you should write here depends on which mode you select. As you can see, they have a sample code and it changes when you change the mode. And there are two languages. I would stick to JavaScript for now because um, Python is on beta. For this run once for all items, it processes all the items that comes as input at once. So you have to have a for loop to process them. But if you select run once for each item, you will be working with one item at a time in this code node. So I have some sample data here. This is just returning this JSON and that will be the input for these two code nodes. So if we go for run once for each item, it will get one item and add. So this is the input. It has ID, name, email, and role. And I want to add a create date. So I'm doing that by dollar input dot item dot JSON. And this is the field that I want to add. I add it here. And this now is a built-in function in N810. So if you type in dollar, it will show you all the built-in functions they have. So you can use them. Uh, let's say we can do today, for instance. And if I run it, I guess it's the same as now. So that's how this one works. And when you work with all items at once, you have to iterate through each of the items using a for loop and then at the end of your uh, code you have to return everything so how do you get this code written for this code node you can use any llm but i like using chat gpt because we have this n810 assistant um, so all you have to do is go to explore GPTs and type in n n and enter. The first one that comes up is n n assistant by Naksha. I haven't used the other ones, but, um, so this is the one I have used so far. You can start a chat for prompting. Um, you have to give the context first. That is what you want to do. And then you can give example input and some example output. For the context, um, let's say I want to count how many admins, editors, and viewers we have. For that, I would say something like, I want to use the sorry. So for example, input, I will give this one. So for example, output, I want something like admin one, viewer one, and um, editor one. So I want the counts of um, each, how many admins we have, how many editors we have, and how many viewers we need. Let's add another admin, so to make it clear. So at the end, I would just say, assume I'm familiar with N810, but not with JavaScript. So please write clean code with uh, uh, comments for clarity. So let's see what it gives me. So it's going to use run once for all items. 
in your prompt you can also give uh, specifically if you want to use one of those modes um, you can give that otherwise i think it will just choose one of them so let's copy this code and put it in here and see what happens actually i will add another node Okay, now we have the creature data as well. Just replace everything. And we have row admin count one. Yeah, perfect. So that's how you use the code node without writing a single line of code.